All right, so I figured out how to change the namespace for the custom classes that are created using the NEV Data Model Designer's build tool. If you recall, before we had these custom classes that were created, and unfortunately they were created in the default contact manager namespace. And when that happened, we ended up with a conflict between our custom created, our internally created address book, and contact classes. It did not know which ones uh, we were trying to access. So we had the entity classes that were contact manager dot address book. And we had the actual application objects that were also contact manager dot address book. Now the proper way to fix that is to change the namespace so that the database classes, these entity classes, are created in a different namespace, so you avoid this, this namespace conflict. Um, the quick and dirty fix that we did in class was to rename the classes that were created to DB address book and DB contact. Uh, it worked, uh, but it's ugly and it's kind of kludgy, and I figured we'd probably be better off figuring out the right way to do that. And it turns out it's really not that bad. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to change the namespace here, and I changed the namespace down here. Um, turns out that that's not the correct way to do that uh, in Entity Data Model Designer. Turns out that if you just click on the EDMX file, you've got a different set of properties down here. It's file properties. And there's this custom tool which basically in invokes this Entity Model code generator, which is great. Uh, there's also a custom tool namespace, which was kind of hidden. It looked like custom tool name. Um, that's actually the place where you set this. So if we want our entity data classes to be created inside of, let's say, the contact manager dot data namespace, uh, we set that there. All right. And at this point, if we run a build, we're going to get a couple of errors because right now we're assuming that everything is inside of the base contact manager namespace. Now, now this CM container class that we created uh, is actually inside of the contact manager data namespace. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work in our classes to include that. But the good news is if we go over to our designer class and scroll down, we can actually see that this namespace is the contact manager data namespace now. And any of the classes, these entity classes that were created, like address book, like contact, uh, are now part of that namespace, which is different than the namespace that we have by default for the classes that we created for our application. So now what we have to do to fix these is go to the code that references the entity classes and add in some uh, using directives. Okay, so I've got a EDM address book manager, and that's where all of the, the gore, guts and gore actually takes place. And because this is in the namespace contact manager, it doesn't explicitly look for things in the sub namespace of contact manager dot data. That's the new namespace we just created. So now we've actually got no additional errors. Now in order to fix things the way that I would like to fix things, I would like to go back to my designer. So let's go back and close this CS window, but look at the visual designer. And let's rename these again to what they should be, address book and contact. All right, now hit save and it's automatically gonna run my generator again. And I'm gonna get some new errors. Okay, and if I click on those errors, it's going to bring up a, a problem that now I'm looking for DB address books. Well, okay, that's easy. I fixed that. Since I renamed it, it's actually in the container called, or it's a, uh, I enumerable in the container called address books. Okay, same thing here for each address book, DB book and data. Now that's actually going to cause yet another problem. And the problem that we've got now is that it doesn't understand which address book I'm talking about. Am I talking about contact manager.address book? Am I talking about the contact manager.data.address book? 
So I need to explicitly say that this is the contact manager data address book. And now it's able to distinguish between the two. I've got one other place that I need to do the same thing. This is the data.contact that's inside of the book.contacts. And I should have a working application at this point. So if I hit F6, I no longer have any errors in my error list. Um, I should be able to run this. And yes, in fact, here's our Johnny Walker at black personal contact. And it's definitely falling within that personal contact realm. All right, so again, to repeat, um, the major change that I made to change the namespace was clicking on the EDMX file, looking at the file properties for that EDMX file, and changing the custom tool namespace. And I made the changes in the code to explicitly refer to the proper versions of the classes that were generated. In this case, it was the contact manager .data address book and contact objects, not just the plain old contact manager address book and contact objects. Hope this helps.